a kicker routine. This is a video from Matt Pat, and uh, and if you have any way of sharing this with him, I like I like you too. This is to address um, some of his theor his theories in Jurassic World uh, for Jurassic World. Example A is how the dinosaurs are actually very different. For example, for example, is in is with example the Velociraptor or the Tyrannosaurus Rex or the tra or the the Tyrannodon or many of the other dinosaurs. Or the most source, for example, all of these animals looked completely freaking different because we have no way of knowing. But but these are two parts of your theory that I'm going to explain to you, Matt Pat. Okay? That you got, or four parts actually. Number one is how the dinosaurs were different. This is a right theory because no, because with science we now understand what the technology was. We now understand what the uh, what the actual um, what we have understood for what 104 years I think it was when they first discovered the Velociraptor. They go um, it's like it's not like a big size of a man. I mean, a freaking ton, hundreds of tons, like over exaggerated in Hollywood. Fuck it, but um. But the <coughs> excuse me, I just had a <coughs> cough for a minute. But you're right. Um, the dinosaurs, uh, the Velociraptor was like the size of a hound, and T. Rexes of evidence would have probably had feathers. It wasn't like this huge, bulky skull. It was more like a narrow snout, sort of like I'm trying to represent this. It was sort of I can't do it with my hands. Sort of like this, sort of narrow. Example A is this picture I have on, on a book right here. And this is coming from someone who's been saying this for a very, very long time. Okay, so next, it, so you're right about that. The dinosaurs would, are completely different to what they are in the movies, and we have evidence of that showing. But they did genetically modify them, as said by Henry Wu. In a scene in Jurassic Corps, when Simon was running, is ready to confront him about the Indominus Rex. Modified animals are known to be very um, unpredictable. This kill people, Henry. That's unfortunate. What c what kind of use would we have for a dinosaur that can camouflage? Cuttlefishes are known to 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 change their skin to to a certain to a certain environment. Cuttlefish's skin allows it to change color. It hid from thermal detection. Really? How is that possible? Tree fox can adapt to to a tropical climate. We use strands from their DNA so that so that the animals can adapt to a certain amount of climate to a tropical climate. But I never imagined, and gets cut off by saying, "Well, well, who authorized you to do this?" Q did. Okay, and then like bigger scary blah, 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 blah. cat, cat, canary, blah blah blah. But. But the animals were modified, which leads into my next point about the animals not need, not having enough space on the island. Because the island's not that big. It's like a few thousand square miles, which in island terms is not that big. Like, say we make about this, say that this is the entire... The, uh, these are the islands of the five deaths. Easily new bars up here. You got all the other islands right here, but it's the biggest out of all of them. But in our island terms, it's not as big. But it is big, but not that big. Okay, so you're right that if the dinosaurs were create, if the dinosaurs were created and put on the island, they would not survive because they wouldn't have the right food, they wouldn't have the right water climate, they wouldn't have the right water, they wouldn't have the right adaptations, they need to learn to adapt, they would die. However, the dinosaurs were genetically modified, as my point in the previous one, as my previous point, that the dinosaurs were... Gen that the nice giant come off to look that way to freaking bigger, scary, and cooler. Which they freaking succeeded. So, 
reading. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, it's like, I'm acting like Mr. But no, where was I? Oh uh, right. Um, but they but Henry Wu used strands from other animals that like the West African tree frog to change in a, for it to adapt to a tropical climate. So they would adapt. And they would adapt to those certain needs so that they can do all these sorts of things on the DNA from other animals like dogs, cats, birds. Um, but the thing, but another theory is, uh, but another theory is that, that I have created myself is that the dinosaurs are slow, are actually are actually not very happy with the conditions because they have learned to adapt, but they have to get to, but there's still something in them, like the original DNA of the dinosaur that's basically saying, this isn't right, I gotta get out of here. And now that they're out in the open in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, they can now get those climates. For example, the Allosaurus could live like a semi-desert, semi-luscious green place. So basically, a desert with greens, like this place. But, but now I'm gonna lead into my into the next point, is that shoot, I'm almost out of time. I got three minutes twenty seconds. Okay, I gotta get on the clock. Okay. So the final point that I need to make, that I need to call out, is how Owen Grady was able to survive volcanic ash. Because if you didn't know, volcanic ash is basically when the volcano erupts, there's the ash, there's clouds, it all falls down the hill. Basically, it, it, it's a similar instance as the people of Pompeii. They, they were covered in the molten, but they would have been consumed by ash. Not like... They would have been burned entirely. They would be burned, but first they would inhale all that bad toxic, well not toxic, but bad ash. And basically just like <laughs> be coughing all over the place, not being able to move. And it's like hurting your, and it's hurting you from the inside and it's getting in your head. Like you're also breathing through your nose, it's getting in your head. So basically, what I'm wondering is how he was able to survive. I mean, yes, he was close to the cliff, but he but he was also looking left and right, and probably held a big lung full of air, and was able to run super fast, not caring where he was going, just as long as he was jumping to the water. Which is leading to my next point of how he was able to survive the fall. Which you're right, is when he jumps. Not only would he have like the bad toxins in him, but also that's a very big drop. So when you're freaking falling, it's not the, but it's the fall that's killing you. Your bait, it, now I know that sounds stupid, but actually all the force that's being exerted on you while you're falling, it's like you're falling super fast and there's so much force being pushed on you, you're breaking that. And once you hit the impact, you're going to break almost everything. For example, that's another reason how people die going, um, from suicides on the... George Washington Bridge, Golden Gate Bridge, basically anywhere because the impact of the fall and the force that's being exerted on you that's killing you. So, Owen Gray, how he survived, I don't know. But you're right about that. But thank you, Matt Pat, for for take for letting me take your for take for taking the time to listen to my opinions on that video on some aspects of the video that I thought were hmm. Two right, one wrong. Uh, uh, two right, one wrong. And this is my fourth finger. It's not this finger. It's this finger. It's so it's. No, I, I would have wasted my finger this time. So, two. <laughs> two right, one wrong. Okay. You got two threes right and one wrong. I'm just giving some aspects. But thank you, Matt Pat, for taking the time. Subscribe if you're brand new. Subscribe if you're brand new. Leave a like and hit the notification bell. And until next time. May the force be with you. And map hat, thank you. But if anyone knows how to get this to map hat, just please be cut. Uh, just please, cause I, cause I need to talk to him about this. But anyways, I hope you've all enjoyed. Thank you, map hat, for listening. And until next time, may the force be with you.